So I am not going to wait too long and belabor the point. Uh, this is meant to be a very quick message for those of you who watch this video. I'm right now in Brazil, uh, northern part of Brazil. Uh, it's about 2.15 in the morning. Uh, we have an amazing group of uh, travelers here with us uh, in Brazil. And I just wanted uh, to explain to those of you who see this video, to those of you who love to travel, there is one primary reason. There are multiple reasons, but I'll say one primary reason why, dur why during this pandemic, we are continuing and have continued to offer travel opportunities. Hello, Black Man Abroad. I hope you're doing well. And the main reason why we continue to offer travel opportunities to our people and to, to those of you who have an interest in travel or love to travel, we offer these opportunities because I want people to understand that as black folks, we need to under we need to begin to recognize that when there's a crisis, there's an opportunity. And to stay at home and stay in the house, I mean, I feel like we've all done that for like a year and a half. And now the world has opened up or has been opened up for a while. And so I wanna say hello to Anise Imagine. Uh, I hope that's right. Also, hello to Infinite Black Exposure. Uh, make sure that for those of you on the playback, you follow uh, these accounts. Uh, for folks who, who take the time to get on the live. So that's Black Man Abroad, Anise Imagine, and Infinite Black Exposure. Um, hello, Anise. Uh, so I can't tell you, like in the last uh, couple of months, we've been to Kenya, we've been to Ghana, we've been, this is our time right now here in Brazil. We have a group in Brazil, and after this, uh, we have another group in South Africa. So that's four countries in the last couple of months. And the reason why is because, you know, as I said, we need to be able to recognize when there's opportunity. I can't tell you how many times in these countries I've seen, you know, businesses that used to be available to the people that are no longer available. You know, they have hotels that have closed down, like some of the best hotels that have closed down because those hotel owners have not been able to make payments. At one point in time in South Africa, they had actually closed down the Mandela, uh, Nelson Mandela's house. That his actual house that's uh, in Soweto that gets visitors every single day when it's open uh, hi, uh, Anise, after, uh, right now we're in Brazil, uh, we'll be visiting uh, South Africa uh, uh, starting, I think, uh, the week after next. So uh, we'll have a group uh, that'll arrive on the 13th of September. Um, but during, during this pandemic, most people have no idea, but the house that, the, the small house in Soweto, that was Nelson Mandela and Winnie Mandela's house that attracts just about every single visitor who comes into South Africa for a, a, a visit for the first time uh, or for multiple times, but maybe they missed it. That house went into, um, they had to close it down and it, the, owner, the owner of the property, it actually changed hands because the people could not afford to maintain it maintain it because of the pandemic. There's a hotel, just a, a beautiful hotel that we love to take our travelers to also in South Africa that is, I, I was trying to make sure uh, we, we, may, we had our travelers there and they weren't taking any, any travelers, any bookings. So I spoke to them in May and they told me that that they like put us on the list and to call back so that we can actually book. Well, it turns out that hotel is now in foreclosure. The bank has taken it over. If you don't travel, you don't know about these opportunities. And through connections and through the ability to uh, 
um, leverage some of what you have. Th these are opportunities that may not have been available to, to our people that are now available. I'm right here in Brazil, right down the road from where we're staying, there's a massive hotel that's at least like, I want to say maybe something like uh, 10 to 15 floors completely gone like the owners lost it and so I say this because I've had um, a number of people ask me why um, we've even had folks email Black Travelers Network saying why are you taking people during this time and the reality is is that you're more safe a lot of times traveling internationally than you are even in your own backyard because at least when you get on that inter international flight, you know that everybody has been tested, okay? And they won't let you board a flight unless you've been tested and you test negative. So that's the other little security people have. So I just wanted to come on and give this quick message because we miss out, we, and I say we, meaning those of us in the African diaspora, we miss out on so many opportunities because we are so stuck in listening to what other people are saying or listening to what they, they're telling us on the news. The reality is, is when there is a crisis, there is an opportunity. The last big crisis that we faced, primarily in America, was the housing market crisis. At that time, I was telling people, now's the time to buy, now's the time to buy. There were housing, houses that were dirt cheap, dirt cheap, people missed out. You know, and I think during that time, I probably picked up two or three at that time. But, and, and when times changed, was able to unload those properties, and so, all of these times where we see and we hear on the news, the sky is falling, you know, you have to be thoughtful and think a little bit differently than what they're telling you and what most people are saying. We're living in a society right now, hello the soldier C, we're living in a time right now where those of us who may not have necessarily been entrepreneurial at one particular point in time, now you got to be more entrepreneurial in your mindset. You know, it may not be for everybody to, to leave your job, but at least have that uh, sort of uh, in the back of your mind, the ability to make your own money. And so travel for me, and I think for a lot of people, is a big part of that. Because when you go to some of these places, you're able to see, even in the United States, there are opportunities. I can tell you right now, there are a couple of businesses that I'm actually about to start. I've already started laying the foundation for it. And it, these are businesses that have absolutely nothing to do with travel that came as a direct result of the pandemic. Like take the time and look around you and see. And I'm going to do a shameless plug because on the Black Travelers Network uh, uh, .com website, you go to the shops section and we have a small little publication, 26 pages call out of service it's a twenty dollar publication and that publication lays out a number of different opportunities that this global pandemic has presented in terms of the of just in your specific location that can hopefully start the wheels in your mind to turning and so I, we've had a couple of people who've who've actually started businesses or started laying the foundation for a, a businesses based off of that publication out of service you know it's not that hard it's not rocket science i mean even with black travelers network we are branching out into a number of different avenues to not just service our travelers just from a travel perspective but we have a whole educational track uh, that we are uh, making available to people uh, and so I ask that you continue to tune in. Uh, I ask that you not rule out travel. Don't rule it out. There are those of us who have, um, you know, groups, small groups that are traveling internationally, and we welcome you. Our next trip after South Africa, like I said, we, we have South Africa coming up, but after South Africa in February, we have Rio de Janeiro. 
that's the time for the carnival season. So those of you who are interested in traveling, who may have hesitation, but you still kind of want to travel, just know that there are groups that, well, I'll say that Black Travelers Network is out here doing it. There aren't a lot of groups that have been uh, traveling during this time. I know that because, you know, I, I've, I've connected with a number of people who have just flat out said they're not they're not going to travel uh, during the pandemic. And I and I understand and I get that it's not for everyone. I tell people all the time, if you're concerned and you feel nervous about traveling, that is absolutely fine. You should stay at home. Um, and Infinite Black Expo Exposure says true. It is very important to seize opportunities to travel abroad and gain experiences that may be once in a lifetime. Additionally, not having the freedom to travel when the world was shut down is, um, I think she said, is motivation. Uh, that's infinite underscore black exposure. Uh, and you guys definitely follow, uh, follow infinite black exposure. I believe uh, this particular account is a new account. We definitely want to get the eyes uh, and, and those of you who um, are into like any form of education for youth, uh, definitely follow infinite underscore black underscore exposure. Uh, follow that account. So thank you so much for that, that comment. That's really uh, a, a really important point. I just also want to say um, you know, I'm not advocating that people do not listen to the news. The news uh, is, is the news, <laughs> you know, it's there for you to consider and there for you to, to weigh. But ultimately, like we have to make our own choices and our own decisions based off the information that we have in front of us and based off of what we know uh, to be our um, best case scenario that's that's what I always recommend and so for us we've had amazing brothers and sisters travel with us the last couple of months I mean our, our group here in Brazil is absolutely wonderful we're actually going to um, uh, offer someone a role uh, in Black Travelers Network as a direct result of her coming uh, on this trip uh, because it's just uh, it is just absolutely amazing the people you're able to meet and connect with and their skills and their knowledge when you take the time to travel abroad. Um, so I just wanted to come on and say that hello Apple of uh, Apple of his eye I believe. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, but I wanted to close it out and just leave with that message. It was supposed to be shorter, <laughs> um, but I'm so passionate about this issue because I see so many of our people miss out on opportunities because we listen to either other people or we listen to the media and it clouds your judgment. It clouds your, it can cloud your judgment if you allow it. I've had travelers say, you know, I didn't even tell my family I was coming on this trip because I already knew they were going to talk me out of it. You know what I mean? So the voices of other people, especially the ones who are closest to us, is very powerful. Very, very powerful. But we are at a critical moment in our history. At this time, the economy of America, the economy of the world is shifting and changing. And the question is, are you ready and can, do you have the ability to shift and change with it or to be that force and that leader that can see the change happening and create a path way for yourselves and your families to be ahead of the change and position to be very successful when some of these things that they want to do in our society come down uh, the pipeline and so um, take care, everyone. I hope you have a good night. Uh, like I said, it's 2.30 in the morning here in Brazil. I just felt so strongly about coming on. We've had a, a, an amazing time here. I'm so excited that we get to come back again in February. And for those of you who are interested in joining any of our trips, uh, slide in the DMs, email us at blacktravelersnetwork at gmail.com. Uh, visit the website get on our mailing list. Um, again, uh, I'm, I'm doing some shameless plugs of our publication. Uh, 
thank you, Anis. We will definitely enjoy uh, this trip. I'm doing some shameless plugs of our publication, Out of Service. It's a 26-page guide where we assess uh, a number of different industries that are local, are industries within people's lo location that if you have a desire to at any point start uh, a side hustle or a business, keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Fulfill people's needs and not necessarily what you think is a great idea because sometimes the great ideas in a market that can be uh, as shifty as what we're experiencing now and may or may not work. Fulfill people's needs, provide the need, and um, you shall be uh, much better uh, and much more ahead of these wild and crazy times. Uh, thank you all and uh, definitely safe travels to you as well and good night.